Hi everyone, really quickly before we get into the unboxing video of my new Zion Box Ultra Reserve Snare Pad, um, I just wanted to mention, uh, please make sure if you're able to, um, make sure you stay at the end of the video. If not, that's okay. If you don't want to hear me talk, I understand that. Um, at the end of this video, after my unboxing, I'm going to be explaining about uh, my experience with Zymox percussion and what the process was like as far as like shipment goes and the ordering process and all of that. So um, I, I'm going to explain all of that at the end of the video. It'll all make sense. Um, I just want to pop on here and just do a little introduction. Make sure you guys stay to the end of the video. Um, and again, if you don't want to hear me talk, that's fine. You can just exit it out, whatever you want. Um, but I just thought I would give you guys a heads up. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thanks. Okay, here we have my Zion Mox Ultra Reserve Snare Pad that I just got in the mail today. And uh, we'll just go ahead and get right into it. So... And I'll do my best to try to keep everything in the shot as best as I can because I'm sitting on the floor kind of on the side of my bed here. So I'll try to do my best to keep everything in the in frame here. Okay. So here we have the box. It's the same box that always comes in. This is actually my second... Um, Reserve snare pad. I have another one that I'll show you here in a bit that I've had for about five years now. It's the um, old reserve snare pad. This is the ultra reserve snare pad, which is kind of a newer upgraded pads for 2020. Um, and I'll explain all of this later on in the video. So let's go ahead and open this. Here's like this little tab here. Okay. And it looks like it's wrapped in this. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. So. This is the pad right here. Wow. Okay. So it comes with uh, this little sponge thing. If you want to, since this is a snare pad, you can uh, mute the snare sound if you want. So, but this is the pad itself right here. Um, yeah, this is really nice. So this is um, one of the newer pads for Zymox, like I mentioned, and I'll kind of go over. I went with this uh, Gallardo, I guess that's how you say it. It's more of a yellow color. Uh, for those of you who know me, um, yellow's my favorite color. And uh, you can uh, customize the, the top portion of the pad now which is more customizable. There's different templates you can choose from. This, for example, this is the binary one. It's what it's called on the website. Um, and I've got black tension rods, um, the back. Yeah, pretty much everything. You can customize uh, pretty much anything on this snare pad. Um, but uh, let me go ahead and get me my other Zymox pad here. Give me one second. Okay, this is the other Zymox pad that I have right here. Um, I've had this pad for about five years now. So there's some minor wear. You can see some of the scuffs right over here and and whatnot. And uh, I also got the snare sound. This is what the comparison, what it looks like. This is the 12 inch pad, by the way. You can still get the 12 inch or the 14 inch. So this little side by side comparison here for you. And then here's the back of it. So this is like an electric yellow or kind of like a almost a lime green, but this is called electric yellow. And this is uh, this is the kind of yellow that you see like like a Gallardo on Lamborghinis and that kind of thing. So that will be that kind of reminds me of that almost so but yeah, this is the pad itself. Um, let's let's see some of the things here. Um, yeah, it looks a really looks a really nice pad here. That's a really nice pad. Um, I did one thing I did notice. This isn't really a big of a deal, but you can also when I say customize everything, you can customize everything, even the logo. And unfortunately, I wanted to have the logo the same color as this right here, 
which is pretty much the same color as the electric yellow is uh, for this pad. But unfortunately, this can uh, they printed this in white, so but that's no big of a deal. I can live with that. But other than that, uh, the pad looks really good. I I'm really digging this. So let's go ahead. I won't do. I want to do a full review of this, so I'm not going to get too much into playing of this. I just want to show you the pad and um, just kind of give you an overview of that. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead. I'll do a little playing demonstration, and then I'll do. Um, I'll cover this more in depth after about a week or so, uh, a couple weeks maybe, um, I'll do a review on this pad. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. Okay, here I have the Zymox Ultra Reserve Snare on my stand. And one thing I do want to mention really quickly uh, while I'm talking about this head, this is a laminate head compared to my old Reserve Zymox, which has like a carbon fiber head. And as you can see, the center of it is actually absolutely bloated and there's some it's kind of hard to tell but there's some cracks in there but um yeah this is this is uh kind of not playable anymore other than you can play like the edges kind of get that snare sound a little bit but like here even that piano we can't even it's not playable there but anyways um so uh let's go ahead and test this out and see how this sounds so Yeah, it sounds. This sounds really nice. I really like the. Uh, sounds a little bit of a difference between the other reserve snare and then this one. You can definitely hear the snare mechanism more. Okay, it's kind of hard to hear it when you're playing on the edge, but you can hear a little bit. I know with the 14 inch, since it's a little bit bigger pad, I don't know. I never had one, but I can imagine it'd be kind of hard, but. Yeah, I don't want to get too much into this. Like I said, I'm going to do a full review of this in a week or so. Um, I just kind of wanted to give a brief overview of this pad and just try this out a little bit. But uh, yeah, that that will be it for my unboxing video for the Zymox Reserve Snare Pad. Make sure you're staying tuned for the review, which will be in a week or two. Okay, now I'm going to be talking about my experience with Zymox and what the ordering process was like and the shipment process and all that. And I'll try not to do too much rambling, um, but you know, for those of you who know me, I like to carry on and on about a story or a conversation. But anyways, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and start from the beginning and we'll just kind of go from there. So um, I guess to start off with, for those of you who may not be familiar with um, Zymox Percussion, Zymox Percussion is a small um, bass company from California. They do um, custom um, snare pads, they do custom tender pads, they also have some merchandise and product accessories as well. Um, you can check it out on the website, ZymoxPercussion.com, and um, it'll give you more information about it, about the website and whatnot. So. Uh, let's go back to early March of this year, which was probably around the beginning-ish of the coronavirus, even though it was like, a, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks in when we found out we had this virus thing going on. I don't know, sometime in the beginning of when we had the pandemic or whatever. Um, anyways, um, so uh, in early March, Zymox released a new version of the website. Um, and as part of that, they were having a sale going on. So uh, they give you a little code thing and you put in the code. And uh, if you redeem that code, you get half off. And so I went ahead and tried it just to see, you know, if it worked or not. And because uh, I ordered the pad in late March. And so I tried it out and to see if it worked. And sure enough, it did. So I went ahead. I figure why not, because um, my, my birthday's coming up. It's actually at the end of this month. You know, as far as my birthday, Joey, you know, I might as well get a new snare pad because I, my other Zymox pad, I recently started using again because I really wanted to get back into marching snare music and um, it wasn't no good use of playing it anymore in the condition that it was in. So I figured I'll just buy a new one. And um, I figured... Uh, 
at the time, which was back in March. I think I might was like, I might as well get the pad now while it will be on sale. Um, cause if I get the pad now in May, it might not be on sale and I'll have to pay full price for that. Anyways. So, um, I customized the pad and I order it on March 25th, which was on a Wednesday. And, uh, once I had everything customized, I was getting ready to check out. Um, I noticed on the website, you can choose standard production, which was the normal production standard time, which they gave you with just three to 10 weeks. Or they have a new option, I believe, which was which I believe it's new. Um, we can choose um, expedited production, which will guarantee that they will make your pad and they will have it shipped to you one to two weeks. And so I select that, and it's ten dollars more. But since I was getting the pad half off, uh, it's it would still be less than what it really usually is. It was still under a hundred dollars. So, um, usually the pad itself, I think for the 12 inch pad, it was like $92, I think with, with any, anything that was customizable. Um, plus expedited production was like $112 or something like that. Um, and I got a discounted, which was like $56 off plus $20 shipping. So altogether, the total was, uh, around $76, which, um, is not too bad in my opinion, at least. Um, so I got the pad for $76 when it was on sale at the time when they launched the new website and I, um, order it, um, expedited production, which they send the website, which will be guaranteed. It will be shipped one to two weeks. Now, something to keep in mind is that something that I also thought too, after I purchased the pad, um, because of the coronavirus and the pandemic that's going on right now with businesses being shut down, I knew that wasn't going to be the case. Um, and who knew, I, I figure at the time I was like, who knew how long it was going to take for me to get this pad? It could be the end of this year or it could be the next year for all that matter or whatever the case may be. And, um, Right after I purchased the pad, I happened to go on to Better Business Bureau and I saw a lot of negative reviews uh, about the Zymox company and I was just taken back by, by all the comments of uh, all the you know customers that bought their pads before. And these were recent too, like these were um, like months ago, some, some of them for like a year ago. And, um, and I'm thinking to myself, oh, great, you know, because here I am, I just purchased the pad and, you know, if this happens to me, you know, I'm pretty much screwed. And, um, however, at the same time, you know, I'm getting, I got the pad half off for its value. So, I mean, whatever they gave me is whatever they're going to give me. And, um, a lot of the comments, a lot of co the, most of the complaint um, with Zymox is the shipping, which I can understand why, because people would wait, um, months in advance to get their pad. Some people will wait for three months. Some people will wait for nine months. Um, I've seen some people that waited at least a, about a, a year or over a year to get their pad. Um, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, now with the other Zymox pad that I had, I had that for five years. I ordered that um, around December of 2014, and it came to me in February 2015. So, um, uh, I was so as after I purchased the pad, I was just like, I don't know how this is gonna be with the coronavirus pandemic and all that with business being closed. I have no idea what to expect. So um, I waited for a couple of weeks. Um, on Easter Sunday, which was April 12th, I got a notification email, courtesy email from one of the co-owners of Zymox. Um, they were basically telling me that my pad was in production and it would be scheduled to be shipped on Thursday, April 16th. And it usually takes one to three days to have it shipped. And so I was like, okay, great, awesome. You know, they gave me a courtesy email because it's been about two and a half weeks when I ordered the pad. And um, Thursday, April 16th came. Um, I didn't get any email notifications from UPS or anything. I waited a couple of days. 
I didn't get anything. Um, it wasn't until April 27th, which was the following Monday, I got an email from um, the PayPal service where I purchased the pad from Zymox. Um, I got a tracking number down from UPS, and from there on, um, I was able to track my order from UPS, and it said it, it was created uh, to be shipped to UPS on April 27th. And they did like a departure scan um, for UPS or from the company to UPS on May 5th or something like that. And um, it was in transit for about a week or so. And uh, it was out for delivery and shipped to my house today, which was May 11th, uh, which is a Monday. So altogether, this is my estimate. I don't know exactly how long, but um, from the time I got my pad on March 25th to May 11th, that's like approximately six and a half or seven weeks right there. So that's something to think about. Um, now, I can't say for the record what it will be like after the pandemic. Um, if I mean, I would assume they might you know, if, if anybody orders it expedited production one to two weeks, it might be able to come to your house one to two weeks. I don't know. Um, I have, it's, it's hard to say that right now. Um, but uh, with the current situation uh, with, uh, with my pad, um, you know, it took about six and a half weeks to get there. Um, but for me, I didn't mind the wait at all because, um, you know, it was understandable with, during these unprecedented times right now that we're having um i i didn't mind the wait at all and uh you know i was happy with what i got today and uh uh i was satisfied with my purchase in other words so um so that's kind of what i went through um with that and again i <laughs> i do i mean all those other people that went through zymox percussion and they didn't get the outcome that they want. Um, I, I mean, I do, I, I do feel bad. I mean, I, I would, I would feel the same way, you know, if I was in their shoes, honestly. Um, but um, you know, uh, with the new launch of the website, um, and with the with the customer satisfaction that I received, um, I can safely say for myself that I was pretty much satisfied, even though I did pay. Um, more it, it was ten dollars more but they did refund me um that was the other thing i was going to talk about too um because it was they exceeded the time um they still we were they were able to refund me so um that also happened as well but um yeah so i think that's that's pretty much all for this for this video i know it's kind of long and i rambled too much and i'm sorry for that but this is that, that that was just my experience with Zymox, and that was what I went through. Um, so, uh, so again, if anybody's thinking about purchasing a pad from Zymox, you know, that's that's just something to think about. Um, I can't make that decision for you, um, but hopefully, this helps in a way if you want to purchase a pad or not, or or something. I don't know, but. Um, Again, that's just my experience with Zymox, but I went through what the shipment process and the ordering process was like. And um, it came in the mail today for me, and um, you know, after the unboxing video with it, um, I was pretty much satisfied with what I got. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, and, and plus I got it when it was on sale too, which was half off, so that was a huge um, bonus there. So, anyways... Like I mentioned before, um, a full review will be coming soon. Uh, look out within a week or two, and uh, I'll do a review on it. And um, just going to be playing on the pad. I'm looking forward to practicing more into my marching snare music. I want to get back into it because um, I haven't done it since like high school, really. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to try to get back into that, and um, we'll just go from there. So. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button down below. And um, yeah, stay tuned for the review, which will be in a week or two.
Thanks again.